no, it's part of the, it's called the NSDA, it's the official organization, and uh, there's many categories. I specialize in congressional debate, uh -huh. which is a, basically, it's Congress at work. What happens is uh, all these very cocky, arrogant people uh, come together, <laughs> and uh, we debate bills, and we talk about things, and uh, we argue and bicker, and it takes three hours, and we realize that nothing's been done. So, you know, <laughs> just, just like Congress. That's great. Now, um, I was wondering if, if I could debate you on a couple of things sure, yeah. here. Um, here is, I don't know which side you want to take, but I'll throw one out here. Monopoly or Scrabble? Monopoly. You want to take Monopoly? Yep. Or I'll take Scrabble. Yeah, right. Who starts? You start? Uh, you know, the, the loser, the pre predicted Ooh. loser usually starts. I'm sorry, that was me. That was, Ooh. When you said cocky, you weren't I, I wasn't were kidding. I was <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this kid that used to act on our show and do things and he was nice and I don't think I want to debate I, you anymore. Just, this, is, this is how I start winning. This is, this is how you I... You know, it's, it's been said that people who play Scrabble are neither cocky nor arrogant. Go. You know, with Monopoly, <laughs> you're teaching yourself and your kids, if you play with your kids, the institution of capitalism at its finest. You're teaching them to don't buy the railroads, but to buy Boardwalk or Park Avenue. You're teaching them how to spend their money, and if they go broke, that no one's going to bail you out, and you lose. Well, with Scrabble, you're teaching a vocabulary, which means you can look at a dictionary. You, you wouldn't have had to use the word teaching four times in two sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think this debate's over. Well done, though, sir.